Hey guys, episode seven on the Time Attack build. Uh, we're gonna be going over some stuff that we did on the cooling side of things today. Uh, we're gonna be going over some cleanup that uh, Clay wanted last week, and we cut the trunk like we said we would. Uh, start with the, the gurneys? Yeah. Start with the gurneys. We're gonna start with the gurneys. So we 3D printed some, not gurneys, they are wickers. We 3D printed some wickers and basically these create a low pressure pocket behind them which aid in evacuation out of the hood. Um, we honestly have no idea how the hood worked in uh, stock form but this should improve it quite a bit. We got in the CNR Racing oil cooler core, which you can see right here. It bolts to the front of our off the shelf radiator, which is also built by CNR Racing. And let's see if I can, oh yeah. All right. So that basically bolts in like OEM. Uh, we have a single spall fan on that side. We opted not to install a fan on this side uh, for actually improved cooling. But um, basically with the radiator and the oil cooler acting as a single unit and, and ducted together, it should improve cooling quite substantially compared to what they had previously. All right guys, so we got our oil cooler here. And something I think that not many people go over is actually how to properly seal um, cooling system packages together so I'm gonna kind of do a quick little video I guess a tutorial on how to do it it's not it's not really difficult it's just something I don't see a lot of people do so I figure it'd be kind of cool to show that this is a single pass oil cooler I believe it's about 25 inches by 10 inches by one inch thick it's actually quite thin it has a very large surface area so we're expecting to get quite a bit of cooling on off of it it's ultimately going to bolt to our off-the-shelf radiator in the AC condenser location, like so. And basically, my goal in this short little clip is to seal it on the top and the sides with some off-the-shelf foam. It's just some high temp foam. Uh, I think I believe it's good to uh, 250 degrees Fahrenheit or 350, I'm not sure. but should be good for what we're going to use it for. Sit back and I guess watch uh, as I do this. Here you go, the assembled unit. You can see the foam is in between both the oil cooler and the radiator on the sides and the top. So all airflow going through the oil cooler is also gonna go through the radiator. It's not gonna go through the oil cooler and spill out the sides, which is hurting performance. Now on this side, we have a, generally two fans, but Jeremy only wants to run one, which is probably a better idea anyways for his specific setup. Two fans would be better for uh, a daily driver that uses AC, but he doesn't have AC. So realistically, a fan is actually, uh, it actually impedes flow because it's a block, it, it blocks part of the core face. So fans are actually not run on a lot of race cars, which most people don't understand. Or if they are, it's because they are for when the car's stationary. Fans, generally speaking, do not actually improve airflow through a core beyond 25 miles per hour. That's a, that's a rough estimate and, and obviously it depends on each car, but 25 miles per hour, that's a good rule of thumb. As I was saying, a fan will go here. You can see again, foam on the fan. So basically this slides into these little slots down here and then a, a nut 
goes on the top nylock and then the, the fan actually seals to the core so as the fan turns on it pulls this specific area of air through the core. Now it's time to, to basically get it installed uh, with a few sensors in it so that we can monitor everything uh, throughout the year. Um, we're working on the ducting right now and you'll, so you'll see some more of that next week. Um, there's some down here and then there's some in between the, the charge cooler and the oil cooler. Um, but ducting is very paramount for a uh, radiator to actually work. The foam we used is a uh, polyester or something. I don't know. Uh, A6 Track Clubs on Facebook, they have a thread on it. I basically purchased it from a foam company and it's tested for a high temp and it's e really easy to cut. I really like it. Um, it's definitely easier than um, aluminum, so highly recommended. Uh, moving to the front bumper, we took out the speed holes and we 3D printed a duct which will improve airflow through it. Um, we're possibly considering making this out of aluminum. I don't know yet. Um, 3D Magic Mike on Instagram has done some really cool pressed sheet metal out of 3D prints. Um, you use the 3D prints as the tool. I think I might give that a shot. If we have some time, we may put man bun mic on, on the design work there. Um, and then we're, we're filling in some of the previous duct work that FT86 Speed Factory did. Um, and then we're, we're basically just improving it slightly because there's no oil cooler here anymore. Uh, moving to the sides, Clay wanted us to clean this up a bit. So I took a die grinder to it today and uh, got showered in fiberglass. So that was fun. Thanks, Clay. Is that, is that all we did really this week? I think so. All right, cool. All right, and then at the rear, we cut the trunk. Um, basically, the idea here is that the trunk will pull off with a few quick quick release latches and you just pull it rearward and then to install you slide it forward and slam her down. Pretty simple honestly and I, I actually really like how how easy it is to do. Um, I saw this from Die Nguyen on Facebook. He's shown his wing set up uh, multiple times and it seemed appropriate for how we have the uprights through the trunk. Sick. What's up guys? We're gonna be doing some... <laughs> Hold on one second, let me... See this? I feel like it... Uh... We need to raise it up. I'm a short <laughs> This dude's tall. Alright. That looks much better. I look manly. What's up guys? We're gonna be doing some trunk cutting. I got Man Bun Mike here. He's our intern from IPUI. Uh, we're gonna show you the workflow of how we're gonna cut the trunk. Let's do it. All right, guys, that wraps up episode seven here on the Time Attack build. Next week, we're gonna be doing some more duct work for the radiator. We're gonna hopefully finish that off so we can knock that off of our checklist. We're going to um, probably start reinstalling the stuff in the trunk because we can, finally. Uh, what else are we gonna do? I don't know. Ow! 
Hopefully we get the splitters back from CNC routing. Um, so basically we're gonna, we're CNC routing out the splitters and then hopefully we also get the fiberglass uh, splitter diffusers in and we can start assembling that. Uh, we have some tools over there to, to weld and then the, the, the mounts are right there. So that should be hopefully going on next week, if not the week after. We should also probably see the dual element rear wing, um, the second element come in as well. So we can start assembling that. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching and uh, subscribe and all that jazz.